This is a French Napoleonic Peninsula battle um, with a uh, Anglo-Portuguese army defending against a French army. Um, we have uh, British Light Dragoons, King's German Legion Hussars, um, French Hussars, Polish Vistula Lancers, the Poles fought on the French side. Um, and then coming across we have um, a French infantry division. Um, so we have a brigade here attacking against the Portuguese and two brigades here attacking, trying to force the British away from these um, forward positions. So we've got the British in the village in line here and on the ridge and the French attacking the uh, position trying to force the British off the ridge. The British Army obviously depicts different units. Um, we have uh, these are the uh, Highland Light Infantry um, and we tend to, if I just pick this up, we do um, show that it's the 71st Highland Light Infantry that are there. We run this as a holiday weekend um, for people who either war gamers, which most people are obviously war gamers that come, but anyone interested in history who wanted to fight a historical battle, uh, this would be a really nice way to meet people who war game and get into the hobby that way. We have access to figures to play um, any Napoleonic battles, American Civil War, World War II, um, we go into ancient Roman Sassanids, um, World War One aircraft, we play um, as a group um, and then obviously the holiday side of things we can play with anything up to a dozen players. Well as a young boy I used to play with the airfix figures and my dad gave me a set of rules he dropped from a friend at work, um, a very simple book on war games rules and I was um, hooked really by that. When I went to high school there was a war games club uh, and that introduced me to the varying different periods and scales and that's how I got into wargaming.